Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step breakdown of how I made this UI animation project from beginning to the end. Also, by the end of this video, I will refer all the tutorials and provide the links for the techniques I used in this video. So make sure to watch till the end. At the very beginning of any project, I do some research on the topic and then pick a pencil and a paper and do some rough sketches to put all the ideas on paper. Then I started researching on different types of UI for coding tools, to web application, to smart watches and application UIs, to get some ideas about the animation. And then I did some thumbnail drawings to check out the possibilities with the frames and transitions. After that, I finalized the elements and then decided the overall flow of the animation. So after everything is finalized, I started doing the final illustration. So I jumped into Adobe Illustrator and started illustrating the basic shapes. I started with the code editor, frame illustration. For the UIs, I decided to go with the full abstract and clean look. I replaced all the text with round cap lines. Then I picked some colors for the UI elements and code lines. For that, I took some references from Pinterest and Adobe Color. I also reused the laptop design from my previous projects and then designed the web UI and the other required elements in the similar manner. And here are the final illustrations for this animation project. So then I separated the layers as per my requirement to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. So the animation starts with a circle at the center of the screen. Then it pops up and splits into three circle shapes, then morphs into a coding UI where the code lines appears. After that, the cursor clicks on the run button to compile the code and execute. And then the terminal window pops in. And after that, some line scrolling is happening in the terminal window in a very high speed. After that, the coding UI morphs into a laptop. Then the website appears and after that the laptop morphs into the tab and the tab into a phone and then it turns into a smartwatch and then it goes back to the initial frame. Then the whole thing repeats in a loop. So this is the overall idea of this project and now let's check out the After Effects workflow for this project. In After Effects, I started with animating the very first frame. So I started with a green circle and a rectangle shape, so I morphed it into a coding editor UI. So in this section, I focused mostly on the UI transformation part. I used the shape path property to morph the individual shape elements. For this circle movement, I added some extra in between frame with elongated rounded rectangle to add some speed blur for the motion. For the line strokes, here I used trim path and adjusted the start and end value under the trim path. After that, I offset the keyframes of each of the elements of the UI to add some follow through for the overall animation. So throughout the animation, I kept the motion graph more or less similar for each of these elements during the morph animation. For that, I instead of adjusting the motion graphs individually, I used a plugin called EaseCopy. It's a free plugin. You can use it to copy and paste motion graphs in a set of keyframes. To use it, you have to select the set of keyframes and click on copy in the EaseCopy plugin and then select on the other set of keyframes and click paste. Now you can see the motion graphs of the second set of keyframes is exactly same as the first set of keyframes. Then there is a transition from this scene to the laptop screen. Initially, I thought about adding a doc file which travels from the code editor UI to the laptop. But then I changed the plan. I wanted to keep the animation style consistent throughout. So I decided to morph the UI screen to the laptop screen. Before morphing, I added a little motion in the Y axis in the position to add some anticipation before the morph. After I transformed it into a laptop, I bought in the web UI. For this, I animated individual elements of this UI with scale, position and path property of the shape layer. After that, the laptop transformed into a tab and to adjust the tab screen, some elements of the website UI gets outside of the screen and some elements rescales and repositions. So for that, here I use the scale and position property to reposition and rescale the elements of the website UI to properly adjust it in the tab screen. Then to transform the tab to a phone, I again readjusted the elements to fit it into the phone screen. So after that, it gets out of the app and gets into the app drawer screen. 
In this transition, I simply use the track mat. After that, the phone transformed into a smartwatch. For that, I again used the shape path property to morph the individual shape elements. And here is how it looks. Okay, so these are the steps I followed throughout the project and this clip is ready to render. So that is it for this video. Hope you learned a few essential tips and tricks to help you in your projects. Now, if you want to learn how to morph an object in After Effects, then you can check out my tutorial link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the full detailed tutorial. Also, if you want to learn how to animate a character 360 degree rotation in After Effects, then you can again check out my video from the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Also, if you want to check out my other motion graphics project breakdown like this, then you can click on the i button right now to check out the video or you can get the link from the description. Okay, so that is it. If you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.